About a week ago, I was down there digging a bus out of block. It had actually had 12 rollers in it. I started breaking the block, the rollers out individually. Hammer, hammer, piece takes off, there's another one. I have one plate with seven rollers, and then the other five came out in individual rollers. They're all about half inch to three quarters of an inch wide. Nice wow. block. Wow. Yeah, you're gonna find a lot of good stuff down there. Okay, what'd you find, Keith? Wow. Very nice. So now Mike has made a very nice find. Carbonized wood. Uh, every now and then you find it, but it's always black. And it's got just a real, sometimes I'll have a little calcite. We'll So ladies and gents, we are back. We are back at the Penn Dixie Outdoor Education Center to see some of the best trial bites. I think this is probably one of the best fossil hunting sites in the US. Definitely the best in the Eastern uh, part of the United States, as far as I know. Nothing better than these really well-preserved fake hops, now called Eldridge hops and other trilobites, as well as just about everything that you'll find in the Mid-Devonian Seas. Preserved for us by the people who have been protecting this site and making it available to all the fossil collectors. Well, our venture's about to start. Let's see what we find at the Penn Dixie Outdoor Educational Center. So here we are, we're entering the site. We are at Penn Dixie. So we have Mike and John. Mike and John, are you happy to be here today? Smiling so far. <laughs> are you going to find any puzzles? Lots. Oh. Millions, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, I don't want to go over like 15, because then it's getting pushy. <laughs> <laughs> this morning, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. So you're going to focus on the horn corals or the trilobites? <laughs> It's a, it's a rolling. Hello, how you doing? Pretty much. Pretty much. Let's, Mike, you want to get in the picture? We're going to do all the NYPS people. All right, so I'm sorry, can I have your name again? Grant. That's right, Grant. Okay, Grant, look at that trilobite. Oh, very nice. Very nice. See, in the first few minutes, he found a nice little trilobite. <laughs> All right, so Dorothy has found a mucus burfer. It's really well articulated. It's got the original shell material. So a very beautiful sample. That is the official fossil of the New York Paleontological Society. My favorites. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you for showing us that. So with this material, what we want to do is break up the big chunks. And as we split them up, we might find more and more. Let's put up this chunk over here. And as you can see, it has the imprint of a trilobite, but it was on the surface. So chances are the trilobite is gone. But just the impression is really kind of cool. You can see sort of little bits and pieces of trilobites at the edges. That's a good clue that the rocks are good. Over in the 
rock. I hope you can see it. There's a negative of the trilobite. So if we see the negative, the positive should be on the other half. And sure enough, there it is. A little guy, but it's a trilobite. It's the head that's on the side of it. Yes. Oh, yeah. It does look like a very nice one. The head's on. If that is the same one. It, I don't think it is. The head could be in there. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking of. Another one. Yeah, there's also a crack. You see that crack? Yes, that's so, why I'm uh, so um, considered opinion. Take it home and work on it. Take it home, yeah. You, you could try just pulling it loose where the crack is, but no guarantees. I would just take the whole piece on. I mean, it's nothing great. Thank you for showing us that. that down. All right, so I'm going to show you what we do here. Here is a nice big block, and I'm going to try and split it along the bedding plane, along this front. The orange is sort of would have been one of the that indicates what the flat surfaces are, many, many flat surfaces. Expose the flat surfaces that could be an area where things are getting deposited or things are living. So I'll take you in as we break this up little by little. No, no, I'm just putting my pocket. All right, so piece just broke off. And anytime something breaks, we take a look because you don't want to hear that I was working on something else. Oh, look at that. We got two partial thoraxes. Trilobites. Not full things, but that's a really good indication that there's probably going to be something good in this one. Ready? They're just gonna go. Ah! Got filled in, and then we have a bunch of huge heads. That pilot eyes burning. So Grant and who else do we have over here? Jude. Jude and Grant. Okay, so you have wow. Um, yeah. <laughs> if you have a wagon, because you might want to take yeah, this whole yeah. piece home. That's why I brought my fossil preparation tools. <laughs> awesome. That is a wonderful block. Let me use one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We haven't even split it open yet. This is just, this is just, we're literally just scratching the surface. Wow. Like, we are scratching it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. If you don't mind, have your first name. Keith. Keith, okay, what'd you find, Keith? Wow. Very nice. That's a that, Yes, it is. It'll wow. be fine once I get out of the rock all the way. <laughs> well rounded. Yes. That's where you Sorry, I'm for ratio. <laughs> All right. So here is wow, look how beautiful this pie bell is. Almost looks like a paradise. Rich, thank you very much for showing us that. Alright. So I'll we'll actually do this live. So uh um uh, so your name's good. Well, thank you very much for both of you showing us the vines. Big boulder yielded just some tiny trilobites here. Bivalve over here. 
Who's the finder? Jp, you want to have your first name? Joseph. Joseph. And you, you found it, or you, you found it? Yeah, I found it. Awesome. So, and uh, now, I believe you told us what it was. It was a yeah, reed. It's carbonized wood. Carbonized wood. Oh, okay. Wow, is that scarce over here? Can you get a weapon you want to walk in? Yeah, it's to vote in carbonized wood. It's, uh, now and then you find it, but it's always black. And it's got just a real, sometimes I have a little calcite, a little sparkle to it. Now, would this be something that fell into the water? Because I would imagine that it's probably Most not likely. growing. Yeah. Okay. Most likely, it likely fell in, got submerged, and actually carbonized before rotting. Now that this rock broke up a little bit more, I'm actually seeing a second trilobite right over here. It's the third. So now this one is definitely worth it. Okay, so now Mike has made a very nice find. So it looks like the rest of that guy is definitely going to be in there. That is nice. What is that under here? That's the interesting question. Maybe like another one? I don't know where that's pointing. Could they clean off the color card already? I think so, yeah. They kind of all different colors. That's what I'm thinking. Just saw some trilobites, and uh, I'm wondering if that might be complete underneath there. Just add. Just add? Yeah. Ah. There's two and then there's something else on the roof there. Oh, it looks like it. Looks like it. Okay. That's nice too. Okay, so that big boulder that I said I'd break down for us, when I whacked it, this thing popped out. Oh. Folded over, I'm assuming. Yes. Very nice. Yes, top, top pocket find. You need water? No, no, thank you. Anyway, the guy told Good, us. But we don't have any points. <laughs> okay. <laughs> The guy told us that there are three um, complete trilobites in every one of these boulders, right? Or more? Wait, there oh, should be. There should be, right? Yeah. Well, I've broken about eight boulders. And that's <laughs> the first one. Yeah. Well, I've only worked on one the whole time I've been here. And you can see all the stuff I've got. Oh, very nice. The only top pocket find was a horn coral. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think. Can I have your first name? Uh, Christopher. Oh, hello Christopher. That's my name too. <laughs> so you found, uh, oh wow, nice prone trilobite over here. And then partly enrolled and more, wow. Yeah, everything from this uh, bin has been from this huge uh, thing. It was a lot thicker, but I brought it down. Here, oh, here. wow. You, you have a whole death assembly to my heart. Yeah, I got two nice rollers here. Okay. And from, oh, yeah. And then everything in this orange band has been from this one rock. Nice rock. Yeah. You have to take it off. Your first name. My name's Zachary. Hi, Zachary. Where'd you find, Zach? Uh, I got a L drops, thorax, and pigeon up here. The head might be in the rock yet. Good chance, good chance it'll be in there, yes. Thank you, thank you for showing us. Oops, we went super zoomed in. Thank you for showing us that. Yes, sir. 
inside. These ones are the fragile ones. And then some Christmas because I like Christmas. Oh, very beautiful. So thank you very much, Nora. Other than gastropod. It's I a, believe it's a platyceros? No, that yeah. is a... Uh, yeah, that's a natakanema. 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 Okay. Or depending on who you talk to, platystoma. Ooh, what a nice trial of ice. Wow. Argue back and forth. Yeah, that's Dan, a nice... Dan, you saw it. Which the obligate kinoid parasite? Hmm? Which the platyceros. Well, yeah. Yeah. So last year I had a whole bunch of these after they were given, so I just left them in the garden, backyard, and they fall apart. Like, yeah. Because then you just come back and, and, and all sorts of stuff. All, yeah. yeah. ready to go. all right. So beautiful, beautiful bunch of procubus. Could you give us your first name? Corey. Corey, thank you very much for showing us these. So we found a Bellcart radio. Very nice. May I have your first name? Gary. Thank you. Thank you very much for showing us that. May I have your first name? Are you the binder? She's yeah. The binder. May Alex. I have your first name? Alex. Alex, thank you. Thank you for showing us that. So you have a really nice trilobite prone position. Looks like it's probably going to be complete. If you can see, you see that crack that's kind of going that way and that way? Mm -hmm. If you bend this over the edge of the rock really carefully, you could probably prop it down that way. I wouldn't do any more than that on site because uh, that's worth taking home just as it is. Exactly. So, uh, yeah, we can get it on the trim saw when we get home, maybe. If that don't, I don't know, it might vibrate or lose stuff. But, you know, it'd be nice to have it a little smaller. Yeah. <laughs> and, yeah up. Thank you. Thank you very much for showing us that. Thank you. He's got a, well, oh, the other one? Oh, okay, I'll be right over. First of all, I mean, have your first name? Sue. Sue, Sue has a nice trial bite over here, also prone position, and looks like it's probably gonna be complete. May I have your first name? Uh, Augustine. Augustine, Augustine has found a whole bunch of uh, trial bites on the slab. He's working on also another piece over here that it's coming apart, so he's probably going to take that home and um, and carefully work on that. But very good finds. Thank you for showing us that. So we saw Chris earlier, and uh, James has sought this out for him. Can I put you in this too, James? Yeah. <laughs> James has sought this out for him. Thank you, James. Yeah, no and uh, really big, beautiful block death assemblage of trilobites. All right, if you don't mind, can I have your first name? Uh, Ariana. Ariana, what did you find? I found uh, ultra depth trilobite. Very nice. Very nice. Hey, you got a lot of other things too, huh? A lot of brachiopods? Yep, some nice brachiopods, um, some rollers. Ooh, that nice rolly. May yeah. or may not have the head. I just have to wait to see after it gets prepped. That's right. Thank you very much for showing this then. All right, so Keith and Rich, Keith and Rich, I found another one, another really nice prone trilobite. I almost stepped on it on my way over here. I'm very glad I didn't. Oh, okay. Small one. Might hard to tell the there. Oh yeah. Very nice. You guys, having great luck today. How are you, guys? What's that? You got enough to fill your car yet? Uh, well, only if you, if you take the whole rock off. So I found this little guy. At first I saw the negative. I was like, where is the trial bite? Found a little trial bite. And look, its head's poking through the other side. It's on both sides of the rock. Right, so Grant has yet another one. A nice, nearly complete trial bite sticking out right up. Oh, there's the, the head. Most, yeah, probably full complete trial bite in that rock. Thank you. Thank you for showing us that. Thank you. So I did decide to break this one up and it worked out. Got a nice little rolly. Second rolly to come out of that uh, that big block. So it was worth it and maybe the guy is right. Maybe there are three in every block. If that's the case, there's still one more in that block to find. Just it out. Wow. Okay, so really nice ultra job and grant again found it and this time on the ground so it really helps to look down good job thank you 
Thank you. What's your name again? Jessica. Jessica, thank you so much, You're Jessica. Welcome. So Jessica has found a really nice trolley. Look at that. Is that Elder Dawson? Mm -hmm. Yes. Elder Dawson, very nice. Thank you, thank you so much You're for welcome. showing us that. <laughs> so Ray, what are you showing off here? Oh, uh, 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 He's on cameras. Well, uh, yeah, I got the, yeah. you know three, oh, yeah, three yeah, potential because this looks like it's folded over and that it's got there more you. underneath there. But yes, and then I'm working on a green ops that I'm trying oh. to get out, and then all of a sudden it pops out, and there's a <gasps> oh <laughs> nice other one on the other side of it. But I don't have any all of any of it. So yeah, I think yeah. this I think yours is the first declared green ops of the day. Even with pieces, yeah. Can you hold it off the camera? Yep. Very nice, very well, nice. Probably not, probably not all there. Probably not all there. Well, yeah, you're not all there either. So it's that's okay. Right. Yeah, that's right. Ridge down the middle. It's a match made in heaven. Some of the best stuff I had there was um, uh, Ivan bombed this bass in 65, million years BC. Any of the Yucatan show? No, only a few mammals go figure that. I was doing stand up at Fulmo Rectus, you know. That one, that, that, that's the one that, that all the medical staff got, you know, the crash team that came from Yeah. Room. They all got that one. Oh, that's rare. Oops, sorry. What you got? Nothing. Nothing. What you got? All right, so I have another one. This one, the crack is very close to it. Thank you for showing up. Welcome. Very nice. Th thank you. Thank you for showing us that, Grant. You're welcome. More of that little one. So Grant has found a coral. You can also find these very little corals here. They're uh, yeah, kind of, yeah, very nice. Actually, really rare Thank you. Thank you. And looking over like here, yeah. I found a trolley bite now. It's kind of right over by these horn yeah. corals. Let me check it out. So, nice little. Uh, yeah. Trilobite hanging out with the horn coral. Oh, that's that's amazing. Thank you. Hi, I, I was going to say I was going to talk loud because of that. Uh, if you don't mind, we have your first name? Morgan. Hi, Morgan. Where did you find today, Morgan? Um, So I found, I guess, a piece of a body and then hopefully a tent detached from it. Yes, it looks like this is a molt where uh, they actually separate, their heads come off, first their cheeks come off, then their heads come off, and they sort of walk away from their shells and eventually grow new ones. So this trial bike didn't die, or it looks like it probably didn't die, it probably molted its shell and went on to live a little bit longer. Thank you, thank you so much for sharing that with us. Cool, thank you. So we have a crinoid over here, I'm going to try and gently Move it up. I showed it to the experts, and they told me yes. Oh, we have another expert over here. So it's a crinoid. It looks like we're going to try and gently pull it up. It already has some natural cracks, which I think are outside of the crinoid. I know nothing. Actually, if you don't want, Mike, do you mind holding the camera while I? Uh, we'll see how skilled or unskilled I actually am. I'm afraid it was going to crack there. But, right not terrible. Yep. Yeah. Hmm. Not terrible, it's solid. So far. Okay, it's in two pieces. Not terrible. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mike. Oh, that, oh, they saw that out for you? Yeah, they saw that. It's kind of hard to see. I'm trying to try to see if I can get a little damp so you can see it better. But yeah, it needs to be cleaned up. Oh, very nice. Thank you. Oh, what's your name again, sir? Steven. Steven, thank you for showing us that. Yeah. So many people today. Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay, so we saw Jason earlier today. Jason has found, looks like you have a green ops head. Looks like, uh, is that maybe Bryce? Not Bryce. Is that, uh, algae maybe? That of that long skinny thing? Yes, what is mine? Yeah. Yeah. Huh. I'm not sure. Yes. Sometimes the long bit things could be algae. Yeah. Hey, worth asking for sure. Yeah, that was fun. Thank you. Thank you for showing us that. Yes. You looking for the rust color? Yeah. I found the, the, the stuff that was sort of a blue gray was also really good. Uh oh. Alright, so now Ray has made a find. Nice little trail of mine. Clear the head. Mm, I'm hoping. I think it's a fun. Back from Florida, two of the wheels on the table saw pulled it under the table saw, and the table saw was sitting there. Like oh, wow. <laughs> Which was easier for me then because it was easy to slide it off on the but I was a bit confused when you were trying to pick that up because you said you needed two winches and I didn't know you meant winches. <laughs> oh, look at this. Chef has found a really nice trial bite. Fully articulated and run. Very nice. All right, another nice trial bite. I have a number uh, that I'm not sure if they're complete or not, or, but they seem to have a... Uh... Um. Oh yes, nice rolly. Roll and twisted. Yes. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very you. much for showing us that. Yeah, I've got a couple of those. Okay, so I just tapped that little rock. I got another little trilobite. Can you see it? Right next to the coral. I think the trilobites and the corals are friends. Okay, I've got one now. Trilobite, can you see it? Right there. I remember. Oh, oh. I, did I tell you the story about when they uh, when I tried to get the giant slab of rock out of uh, my car and Debbie ended up going up in the air? Debbie, Debbie ended up going up in the air. Did I tell you that story? No. I had a huge slab of rock in the van. That I and in order to try and get it out, I put a pulley in the, in the garage and I had the rope coming down and just to be on the safe side, I had the thing tied to a refrigerator that's in the garage. Well, as I pulled the car forward and pulled the slab out onto a ramp, onto a uh, cart, the, uh, yeah, the... tipped up with the back end. 
down in the... Well, what happened was it started going down the... Um, and the um, refrigerator started going up in the air. <laughs> so Debbie tried to grab the refrigerator and she started going up in the air with it. I love Debbie. She, uh... We have moved some rock in our car. Yes. Here's... So Ray has found a really nice articulated trilobite. Good job, Ray. Lucky, lucky Ray. Yeah. It's hanging out with the horn corals. Another another little one in the same rock. Here you go, okay. So here's your trilobite. That piece in the bat behind it is ready to go, so be careful of that. So I'm out here getting ready to show you my fossils from day one of the Pendixie trip. And I see there is a bunch of turkeys that are interested. I don't think they're fossil hunting though. I think they're looking for berries. I could be wrong. Maybe turkeys do like fossils. Right again. So here's the wrap up. I'd like to show you what I found at Pendixie while I was going around with the camera and showing you all the things other people are finding. I didn't show you too much of what I found. So here is my wrap up from day one. I tried to keep day one and day two separate, but <laughs> I hope I did it well. First of all, you might remember in the very beginning, I found this fossil here, which is just really the impression where a trilobite had popped out of. It was a very big trilobite, and uh, it looks like the shell actually might have remained behind, so it was kind of interesting, so I took that home. And after a little while, broke up some big boulders. Now I did show you cracking some very large boulders. What I didn't show you though is how much breaking of the boulders I had to do to actually find some fossils. This one over here came out of one of those very large boulders. It has two trilobites over here. May or may not be complete. This one over here is much nicer. It actually has a complete trilobite kind of hooking out right over here and several other trilobites on it. Now we didn't only find trilobites. I did bring home some nice bivalves like this one over here and that crinoid. Now the crinoid's not out on the table now. It's very delicate and I had to repair that carefully. So at some future point I'll show you how the crinoid came out. But I didn't unwrap that one for the wrap up today. What I did show you this really nice fossil over here. This one had a very large trilobite over here and a head about the same size. I don't know if it's a detached head or I might find the head still on this one when I drill into it a little bit and that may be another trilobite. I found this kind of early in the day and said, oh, this was the find of the day. Well, <laughs> it was the find of the day for then. I actually found a couple more really nice ones. Over on this one, also the insides of a very big boulder that was broken down, have a nice little fake cops, also really called elder jobs now, but I still call them fake cops, frog eyes. And what looks like a uh, green ops, part of a, so two different species together, very close on the same rock. Now there were also some smaller ones that I found. I found this nice little trilobite that sort of popped out on its own. This is why we take foil with us to carefully protect these little things that come out. And you may remember I said I saw the trilobite sticking out of a rock and that was a good indication that there was more stuff inside the rock. Well it turns out that trilobite came out. It's missing a head. There's nothing I can do about the head because it was that was the part sticking out of the rock. It's gone. So part of the head is gone, but the rest of the trilobite popped out of that boulder when I broke it down further. So I said that this was my find of the day because it had these two very prominent trilobites. It also has a whole bunch of other ones in the, just showing through the sediments there that can probably be drilled out. 
that's going to be a death assembly. At least the assemblage of shells that have accumulated. That one's going to be pretty nice. But towards the end of the day, I found this one. This one over here, as you can see, has a full prone trilobite over here sticking out, another trilobite over here, another prone trilobite going into the rock. There's three showing. And there are bits and pieces of trilobites in this rock as well. This might be a death assemblage. This might be a whole bunch of fully articulated trilobites that all have been entombed in this one rock. So I'm gonna very carefully take this apart and see what is in there. So this is the result of Saturday, day one at Penn Dixie. Really great time. Definitely recommend this place to you. Anybody else who would uh, love to collect fossils because not only do they have a lot of really good fossils, but they are really well preserved. I don't work, I'm not affiliated with Penn Dixie. I'm just, uh, I'm not promoting them. I just like the place a lot. Well, if you like fossils a lot, please go ahead and let me know by leaving a comment. Let me know what you thought about the fossils I found, the fossils that other people have found, and the day that we had over at Penn Dixie. You can also give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, I ask you to subscribe. This makes more fossil type videos show up in the YouTube feed. Thank you for watching. Happy fossil hunting and collecting. Oh, one other thing, watch for the Penn Dixie Part 2 Sunday from this adventure collecting fossils. I'll be editing that one very soon.